Uh, let me introduce you the first speaker in this conference, which is Wojciech Nowicki. Um, he's a Pole and he's a renowned Polish writer, first of all, I think, then curator and then uh, critic who, who's very well known uh, in this country. He's also one of the uh, founding fathers of the, one of the most important uh, photographic foundation from Krakow, Fundacja Sztuk Wizualnych. So he's in charge of the photo month uh, in Krakow, uh, happening each and every year in May. Uh, Wojtek curated several shows, like Archivum Centralne, also uh, for the photo month, but uh, he dealt also with artists uh, that are as important as Jerzy Lewczyński or that unknown as Michał Graham. And this show you can see even now in Krakow at the uh, Ethnographical Museum. Uh, so, uh, and Wojciech is also a famous gourmet, in a way. So he's a uh, um, uh, very, very interesting persona in this scene, and um, he's not a museologist, definitely. So uh, today he will speak about uh, the only uh, museum for photography in this country, which is a Museum of History of Photography in Krakow. Um, please. Talk about it. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me thank you for inviting me here. By way of introduction, I'm not at all connected to the museum about which I'm going to speak in my presentation, which is quite an awkward situation, but uh, I think I can handle that. I will speak about the mission of this uh, Museum of Photography, the only one that we have in Poland. And since the word mission seems to be a very essential term in this regard, let me start about the mission, about the bylaws or the statute of the museum under discussion, a handful of uh, objectives that the Museum of Photography has uh, uh, written down for itself, uh, taking care of the uh, cultural heritage entrusted to it, creating a living space, the meeting space, and these items feature very importantly in the statute. They are very interesting, especially this meeting platform, platform for exchanging views, creation of a center of best museum practices and um, the whole strategy must be served by both their acquisition policy and uh, exhibition policy, educational and research activity. Few facts and figures for you from the history of the Museum of History of Photography in Krakow. They are interesting in that sense that you will find among them the history of the problem, the problem of creating the Museum of Photography. The uh, starting time is 1972 when the Krakow-based Photography Society uh, helped to establish the Museum of History of Photography, founded by Władysław Klimczak, the chair of the Krakow uh, Photography Society, and the author of the collection. The collection should be really called an archive collection. This was never a collection targeted in any particular direction. Mr. Klimczak continued as the director of the museum until 1990, two years after the museum is moved to new premises for the third time. Uh, 
this on this occasion this was a location in Krakow, the Josefitov Street. And this is very interesting in that sense that Krakow is a very uh, convenient neighborhood when you walk rather than drive to new locations. This is an old compact town and the villa at Josefitov Street is close to the city center but is somewhat off the center. So it deserves our special attention. Uh, in 1995, which is typical of the operation of this museum, so 23 years after the institution's establishment as the Museum of the History of uh, Photography, the first publication sees the daylight. This is the catalog of the exhibition The Bolshevik POWs from the Bolshevik War 1920 by Jan Zimowski. This publication, this uh, black and white uh, catalog of the exhibition is not worth uh, mentioning today. For today's uh, conditions, this is very modest. Only in 1996, the Council of the Museum is uh, finally established. And the reason I'm mentioning this fact is because it is so typical of the development of the museum. In 1997, the premises, the building, is entered on the list of uh, historical monuments of Krakow. And this shows you a typical Krakow mania to be a historic city full of historic monuments. On the other hand, if one is, uh, if a building is entered into the list of historic monuments, then the managers must reconcile all the renovation work with the indications of uh, architects in charge who keep the register. So all the renovation work is more expensive. Not all um, overhaul is uh, feasible. Then, 20 years after the uh, institution was founded, in 1998, the conservation studio is set up for the museum. Beforehand, it was not deemed to be necessary. One of uh, important dates in the history of the museum is then 2002, where well, the first Krakow decade of photography is organized. This is a 10-day photography festival, a cyclical event which was hosted in Krakow. And I don't know if there are reasons to be happy about it or not, but um, the institution which is called Photography Month in Krakow preempted um, uh, on the initiative of a decade of photography, the decade being suspended. In 2005, the permanent exhibition called From the History of Photography has been launched, uh, was launched. And this is the uh, outside of the building with a new logo, which has been recently adopted. And now you will see some shots uh, from the temporary exhibitions. The building itself features very importantly in the development of the Museum of the History of Photography. There are four rooms in a modest villa coming from 1923, which cannot be subjected to any renovation, any rearrangement. The walls are as they are, they are predefined, nothing can be changed. The villa is not really fully compatible with the exhibition ambitions. However, the museologists are doing their best uh, until uh, quite recently they hired a team of exhibition specialists to assist them in exhibiting um, objects and we do not have the traditional white walls and the permanent exhibition 
another four rooms that we have in the villa, which uh, illustrate both the equipment, the cameras, and the examples of uh, pictures of photographs taken, vernacular uh, photographs from Krakow, and a few artistic photographs um, from Krakow. Here we have samples of various photographic techniques as well as albums and on the walls old um, pictures from photo ateliers from photographic labs in Krakow and one amplified a photography from Valery Żewuski's studio which was one of the um, most important Krakow-based uh, studios in the 19th century. Now a few words about our organization and structure. Uh, uh, the Department of Photography is the most important part in the museum. Its uh, goal is to collect and uh, process um, uh, museum objects and uh, you can see that the bulk of our work goes uh, in the following direction, collection, um, setting up photographic studios. Um, our resources cover about 70,000 uh, objects, including positives and negatives, uh, many instances of daguerreotypes, autochromes, and other historic uh, techniques. Uh, we have the biggest set of Polish autochromes of uh, about 200 uh, items. Uh, and the pride in the history of the museum is the black uh, Tash of the Polish offers from the 70s. For, ex for example, one of the autochromes by Tadeusz Rządze, who was um, a photographer and entrepreneur in Kraków, uh, operating in 1910-1920. He was very eager to take pictures of the neighborhood of Kraków, and this is indeed one of the uh, crown jewels um, of the museum. The most recent research shows that very few autochromes uh, were kept intact in Poland. And this was because of their price and because certain technological backlog, something that we have been suffering from for centuries now. Out of 70,000 uh, of items in the Department of Photography, it is only 3,000 photographs uh, created by 100 authors are artistic pictorial photographs. Uh, so. Many of exhibitions that are staged in the museum are actually guest exhibitions and not organized in cooperation, but simply borrowed or lent out by other museums. And the Museum of the History of Photography is treated as a host institution, as a grand exhibition room for temporary exhibitions. We are particularly proud of the collections of uh, pictures of photographs from the Polish pictorial uh, trend, including Wojciech Bójka, whose picture is on the screen, and Jan Buchak, for instance. The collection that I have been just mentioning, the collections from Krakow Labs from the 19th and the 20th century, the traditional example for Poland, but for those of you who have, uh, who have never been to Poland before, this is the picture of peasants from the neighborhood of Krakow with their traditional folk uh, costumes. Uh, the 19th century photograph taken by Krieger's lab. Krieger 
was a photographer who was uh, specializing in ethnography, in folk uh, uh, art, and um, he was creating the portfolios and uh, serial photographs that were then offered to his customers. Among our most recent acquisitions, if I remember correctly, from the very beginning of 2000, uh, we acquired 250 pictures of uh, Fortunato Brombowska, one of the prominent photographers whose work is to be seen here. She was uh, taking pictures of a diffusion of liquids or like Renga patch uh, plants. In the resources of the Museum of the History of Photography, we find a lot of post-war avant-garde. Certain names of gurus of the Polish avant-garde to be found in all museum collections in Poland include Zbigniew Dubak, Zdzisław Beksiński, Jerzy Lewczyński, Natalia L. Here we have um, uh, the photograph uh, by Jerzy Lewczyński called the heads from the Wawel Castle, Zdzisław Beksiński, before he departed, uh, quit photography for painting, and Natalia, Natalia L. Now, coming back to the structure of the institution, this is the museum that encompasses everything, including lots of equipment, cameras, uh, cinematographic cameras as well. This collection has uh, in excess of 2,000 items, as you can read about, about it. We have many cameras, most of them produced by the Warsaw Optical uh, Factory, including prototypes that were never produced on a mass scale, darkroom equipment, and Soviet uh, Russian uh, cameras, about 200, and 50 film projectors using film tapes, which is a minor portion in the collection, but it must be held there, provided this is the only institution of that kind in Poland. This is the um, uh, ex uh, exhibition, the dark room, quite anachronic, equipped with um, equipment coming from various years, and then the recreation of a small part of Valery Żewuski's atelier, according to the lithography that we found on the vignette and uh, the photographs from from this particular lab. Now let me tell you a few words about the most recent developments uh, in the Museum of the History of Photography. Uh, and it must be noted that out of the institution that predominantly focused on historic and documentary photography, uh, hardly ever specializing in monographies of prominent Polish photographers and even less so on um, renowned international photographers, uh, which needed to be borrowed from Belgium or France. Uh, we also, they also displayed, and this is captured in the booklet uh, called the Churns of the Void, the album from the late 19th, 19th century works. Um, this was a very popular exhibition, and it represented a breakthrough moment for the museum. From that uh, exhibition on, the museum started to approach photography in a more novel manner, not so traditional, uh, conservative way. 
and the same series, the key to the storage. Uh, Krucz do magazynu. This is the exhibition which is uh, focusing on the museum's collection. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the museum is suffering from the shortage of exhibition space. And um, because of that, it has much more in its resources that can be shown. And this is precisely why, uh, out of the storage room, um, items are um, extracted to be shown uh, in the exhibition called Light Sensitive uh, Testimony. Here we have pictures taken from the village of Limanova. This was used as a to też cieszyło się wielkim wie. This was a very popular motive. It must be also noted how the museum approaches the problem of visibility. This is not the museum that is very well liked by the people in Krakow, and we we are they are facing constant problems. We, constant financial shortages uh, that are suffered by Polish uh, institutions of culture are also felt acutely by the Museum of History of Photography. It is underfunded and it needs to approach very seriously its website. Uh, uh, the website has recently received the new layout. It looks uh, more or less like that. It is very user-friendly. You can find many of scanned photographs uh, on that website. There are 400 uh, posts, um, but only 18,000 um, uh, speak uh, about the illustrations that are contained on the website. Unfortunately, the museum is also suffering from staff shortages. We know how strenuous it is to scan resources and to make them available online. The museum takes pride in their cooperation with Europeana and the part of its collection that is available in pan-European circulation. And a handful of questions that I must ask when I look at the museum. Whose museum is it? It is a municipal museum and its role, if you remember the quote from the mission statement, is to create an institution that would be modern and friendly. Um, have the authors succeeded in achieving those goals? Well, one could say either that they did, in a way they did. A museum of photography has been created to be an encouragement for other towns and cities to follow suit and create similar institutions. On the other hand, however, the museum uh, is stuck in its premises. Uh, understaffed, under-equipped for years to continue in the same shape. Digi digitization, as you can see, it is not advancing as fast as it could. And this very nice and functional website illustrates very clearly how under equipped it is with uh, photographs. Uh, photographs are missing, uh, or images are missing on the website. And on many occasions, you will simply see the logos of institutions, but not the scans of images. Acquisitions. Let me remind you again that this is a municipal uh, institution. It doesn't have a uh, substantial budget of funds for acquisitions. However, it can uh, derive a lot of good from the deposits that were 
handed over to the museum. It also receives um, or organizes exhibitions using scanned photographs. Uh, the museum has very rich deposit of negatives. Uh, so it doesn't differentiate the vintage prints and the negatives, and it shows them the same way. And finally, the most important question, is the Museum of the History of uh, Photography capable of fulfilling its statutory role? This is a question that any of us working in an institution of culture might, might ask. Looking from the outside, one could easily say that um, there are institutions that are better equipped, better staffed. Here the uh, material shortages have um, overwhelmed the functioning of the museum, the museum that suffers from some inertia. On the other hand, one of the statutory roles assigned to this institution is the custody of the works of culture that have been entrusted to it. And certainly, the museum is rising to this occasion and acts as such a custodian. Um, mind you, the institution is operating an, under extremely challenging conditions. For a dozen of years or so, Krakow was a, has been a city of exhibitions and festivals of photography and the institution that is so underfunded with um, a fossil structure imposed onto it cannot compete um, with more modern institutions like foundations who are not so uh, uh, restrained by um, their structure. We have many foundations in Krakow with uh, rich photography resources, like the museum in Warsaw. The National Museum in Krakow has very rich photographic resources available to it. And there are also other institutions, let me mention them very briefly, coming to the end of my presentation, including the library of the Jagiellonian University of Krakow, the Polish Academy of Skills, and uh, Museum of Modern Art in Krakow, a um, recently created institution which very buoyantly develops its collection. Thank you very much for your attention.